Hi, welcome. Uh, this is an introduction to both the YouTube channel and Mumford Brain Stats as a whole because I really want this to be more than just um, tutorials on imaging analysis statistics approaches. So let me explain that. Uh, basically, I'm going to talk about who I am, who this is for, and what, what is this? What is this thing we're doing? So I'm Jeanette Mumford. I'm a biostatistician trained in fMRI analysis. So I've been in the field since about 2003. And I have been incredibly lucky to have worked with uh, Tom Nichols, who was my graduate advisor. I was in the biostatistics department at the University of Michigan. And then I moved to UCLA and started a postdoc with Russ Poldrack that turned into a research faculty position at UCLA, and then I continued as research faculty in a psychology department at the University of Texas. So it might seem weird. Uh, my training was in biostatistics, but I chose to work in psychology departments. And that's for two reasons. One, I love consulting. I love working with other people and helping them uh, figure out how to analyze their data. And I also enjoy developing methods. Uh, for analyzing data, but I like to make sure the methods that I'm developing are needed and usable. So who better to ask than the audience who would be using your, your methods? As of 2014, last year, I've been in the Richie Davidson lab at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, uh, where I do a lot of consulting work and I still do my own methods development on the side. Not going to go through all the topics or things I've done, um, just generally power analysis, uh, general linear model, um, oh, a little bit of resting state, uh, pattern classification and pattern similarity, lots of different things. You can PubMed me if you really need to know. Uh, yep, so that's who I am. Oh, and I should add that with these two, with Tom and Russ, we actually wrote a book together. Just mentioning it, you don't need to get the book in order to follow the lectures, um, but it's a good, good resource and it's written, um, just FYI, we were very careful to keep the math, it's very math light. So there are very few equations, but we get the ideas across behind um, the analysis of fMRI data. And in case you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, oh, this is only fMRI. Um, I help people with all sorts of different analyses. It turns out that when, once you do your basic processing to say your DTI, your structural data, whatever it is, and you're analyzing it, um, that analysis is very similar across the board. Uh, for example, setting up your group models and figure out how you're going to test uh, different hypotheses. So even though I am fMRI based, um, I think a lot of the things I discuss here can be applied across different imaging modalities. So who is this for? It's for anybody. I guess I was just referring to this. Um, anybody in neuroimaging analyzing data. Uh, again, a lot of fMRI, but a lot of these strategies can be used on other data types. Um, I'm going to be uh, starting with a special program that's especially directed toward uh, new neuroimaging graduate students. So it's the end of the summer and you're trying to, you know, you want to really shine in your first year in grad school. So I'm having an intensive program that will uh, just have some introductory stuff. It's basically the first three weeks and then some of an fMRI course I used to teach. For folks who've been in the business a while but need to brush up on a few things. So what I'm doing with these videos is they'll all be shorter. So I'm taking, for example, for this intensive end of summer cram session, I'm taking lectures that were uh, two hour long lectures that I gave and I'm breaking them up into little chunks because, for example, um, before I can get to multiple linear regression, I have to do matrix math. Well, maybe you already know matrix math, so you can skip the matrix math, math part and go right to multiple linear regression, things like that. So you can pick and choose, kind of design your own course um, and, and power through it. And plus, I'm also, I'm not going to only cover introductory material. There'll be uh, lots of different topics that I'll be covering over time. Uh, right, so experts interested in a quick introduction to new imaging analysis methods. If there's a cool paper that comes out that I really like, um, and if it's something you all are interested in hearing about, I would be happy to make a short tutorial or a short explanation of what's in the paper. 
Okay, so basically what is this? It's free education. So I'm not charging for this. I'm not making any money off YouTube. Um, it's just a little side project for myself. And um, it's, as I said earlier, a lot of the material is going to come from a, an fMRI course that I taught at UT. It was for first year psychology graduate students or neuroimaging graduate students. So that was about the level. And other imaging formats may be covered too, for sure. Um, and newer developments in the field, both mine and others. This isn't, I don't want this to be centered around me. Um, I don't know if I've said this before, but I really want this to have a community feel, feel to it. I want us to interact and things like that. So um, if you have something that's really cool and other people agree, I can put something together for that. Um, I don't know, we'll see, sky's the limit. Is this software specific? No, um, but to be honest, I do know FSL the best. Um, it's the software of choice for me. I can use SPM if I need to. It's what I started in, I'm in SPM 2. That's how old I am. And I'm familiar with the stats and AFNI. So basically any software package that regularly publishes methods papers about new developments within the software package, I've hopefully read those papers. So I know what's in the guts of these software packages. Therefore, I know nothing about Brain Voyager. I've never used it. Um, they don't publish papers that I know of. It's uh, too much of a black box. So I probably won't ever refer to or be able to help much with Brain Voyager type things. So the goal, short videos, as I said, I don't wanna take up a lot of your time. Uh, hopefully they'll all be less than 20 minutes. And I really want there to be a community feel. So I'm trying to come up with as many ways for us to interact with each other. Um, so you can use YouTube comments, you can use Tumblr, uh, Facebook. There's a Facebook uh, page that you can uh, join called Mumford Brain Stats. And there's also a Twitter, which is just Mum Brain Stats because it's Twitter and you know character count restrictions and all. So I'm only one person. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be asking questions and there's no way I can answer everybody's questions. So I'm hoping that what this will turn into is people asking questions, even me, I might ask questions of you sometime and anyone can answer. I can answer questions. Other followers can answer questions. Um, it, it doesn't matter. So I think this could be really fun. It reminds me, or what I'm hoping is, I used to teach at this UCLA NITP summer program. It's a really great program. I think it's still going. It's definitely happening this summer, or maybe it already happened. And so the first three or four years, I gave some lectures at that, and it was so much fun um, getting to meet with other uh, people, other researchers in the field, um, you know, more senior level researchers. And then the students were such a great collection of people and you get to know them and you know their research and they get to know each other and they're from all over the world. And it was, I don't know, I just, I love it. And I still see and know some of these people from years ago. So I want this to be like that, but of course in the virtual world instead of in person. So how frequently will I post new videos? Well, for the special intensive end of summer program, and this is for 2015, although the videos will exist forever, there will be about three to five videos a week. I am currently preparing these. It's going to start with a GLM review, setting up group level design matrices, mixed models and fMRI data analysis, and a few other odds and ends. This is about three weeks plus of a um, 13 week course I used to teach at the University of Texas. So it's a good chunk of material. After I get through that, so after September, I'll probably only have one to two videos a week after that. Um, yeah. So when possible, I will write R code so people can tinker around with data and try out the methods and that will be posted to a, um, well, this is the, the link to a, um, what do you call it, a Dropbox. It's just a shortcut to a Mumford Brain Stats Dropbox directory. Uh, again, please ask questions. Don't be worried about looking dumb. Um, just ask. I think people look more dumb when they sit there too scared to ask their question for months. It drives me crazy. Be polite if you're answering questions for me or just to, not for me. I mean, just answering somebody else's questions um, anywhere, either on the Facebook, uh, YouTube comments, wherever. 
be polite, but please do. Please do answer questions. Even if you're afraid your answer is wrong, just indicate like how sure you are of your answer and give it um, some, something to work off of. Um, and keep in mind when you're answering that we all have to start off from somewhere. Uh, there, there's, it's better to have a neuroscientist trying to learn stats than pretending they know stats. So if they ask the quote unquote stupid question, you know, be a little patient because at least people are trying and I have a lot more respect for people who are trying to learn how to do this properly than the people who pretend they are doing it properly. Can you email me? Well, I need to clarify this is just a side project. This has nothing to do with my regular job. The lab I work for is huge, so I'm very busy during the week um, helping them and they're my number one priority. So this is only something I'll be doing on the evenings that I don't have to do my work and on the weekends. So use the MumfordBrainStats at gmail.com email if you must, um, but this is not the most efficient way to get your questions answered. The comments are, because other people can answer your questions there. If you email me directly at my personal email, I, I will politely ignore it. I don't mean to be rude. Um, I just need to be really careful and protective of my time. So if it hits my inbox, I won't even respond and say, please send this to Mumford BrainStats. I will have to delete your email um, and move on. And again, ask the group. This is the best, best, best thing you can do. Just put it in the comments and see if somebody else answers your question. I'll be checking the comments too, uh, both on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. And I, I will also take requests. Uh, it would be more fun if you could drive the materials, you know, tell me a paper you're really interested in or a statistics topic that you've never fully understood and I'll see if I can make a short video on it. So just ask in the comments. The end of summer program, stay tuned for more information about this. I'll be posting about it soon. And that's it. Please leave any questions in the comments section of this video or Facebook, wherever. And please follow me, um, our, not me, but Mumford Brain Stats, either on the YouTube channel you can join the Facebook page. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't know which of these will end up getting used the most. I have a hunch it might be the Facebook page because it's the easiest to put longer comments and things like that. Um, you can follow on Twitter. Again, the Twitter is just mum brain stats. And the Tumblr is where I'll be um, kind of, that's where the initial distribution of the materials will be. That's what will link to the YouTube um, videos and things like that. Yeah, that's it. Thank you really much. Thank you very much. And um, hopefully I'll see you soon.